Nintendo Switch, you bitch. <laughs> but anyway, yes, people, the Nintendo <clears throat> Switch. It is coming out live for you all and people a lot sooner than we all thought. Hey, I'll give yeah. him credit for that. November, I'm sorry, November, in March 2007, <laughs> November, is next month. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch is next month. But no, people, coming March 20, I'm uh, sorry, I'm about to say March 27th, 2007, March yeah. 2017, people, mm-hmm. the Nintendo Switch. Now, Gertz was probably one of the first people to brought this to my attention, like at six in the morning. Like, Have you seen this? <laughs> Man, I'm asleep. <laughs> Somebody just crashed my window. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this? Oh my God. Uh, but no, yes, the Nintendo Switch. Uh, again, we. This is what uh, Gertz and I like to do. We we don't talk about video games unless it's something that's been out for a while. Uh, like, mm-hmm. but if it's something new, we will not talk about it until we get to the show, and we're not let each other know our opinions. Mm-hmm. Um, we kind of do the same thing we do with the movie reviews. We don't really talk about the movie until we get there. So, with the Nintendo Switch, one of the first things I said um, was, "Okay, wow, this this is something something different. It's something new. Um, it's it's again, it's something that Nintendo." While they don't have a great track record with it, uh, they do manage to find a way to implement new things in the gaming. Um, you know, with the going from the Wii Mote, which is well, we'll, we'll, we'll just pretend this is new. Uh, the touch pads uh, when they had the, the the track and field for the NES. Mm-hmm. Uh, this the soup. I'm about to say the Super Soaker. <laughs> Shoot at your TV. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, but with the uh, the 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 Super Scope with the mm-hmm. SNES. Uh, the Rumble Packs with mm. 64. Power Glove. The power Glove. There mm. you go. And going up to the Wii with the, the Wii Motes and with the with the Wii U, that god-awful piece of shit, that, that fucking giant-ass 40-pound remote. <laughs> um, so here they said, you know what, ditch the 40-pound remote. Well, actually keep the 40-pound remote, but this time we're going to make it completely detachable. Mm-hmm. So, hey, you get to take it out around wherever you want to go. If you got to you go walk your dog or stop playing real basketball to play fake basketball <laughs> at, at the basketball court, why not? That's what I like to do, play miniature basketball on a 12-inch screen compared mm-hmm. to real basketball. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, why exercise? That's for losers. <laughs> um, so one of the first things I said when I saw all this, I, and I did say this to Gertz before we did uh, we came to the show, I was like, oh, okay, wow, it looks like Nintendo has something that they haven't had for a hot minute, which is third-party support. Yep. People, if you could tell right here, they are playing NBA 2K, which is a game that's made by, obviously, 2K Sports and the 2K publisher and developer. Um, And then also, if you didn't notice, there was another uh, major, major game that was in here that... It, even though it is old as hell, yeah, uh, they still went ahead and ported it over because I guess everybody is still wanting to play it. And that game would be Skyrim. You see, Duke on the plane, he whips out his uh, Nintendo Switch and plugs in his headphones and rip, rips off the controls and starts playing Skyrim. Again, one of one of the greatest games of the last generation uh, of consoles. So you know, I'm 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 cool with it being ported over. Mm-hmm. But that. Right there is kind of the extent of my excitement, um, and here's why. Uh, I think it is cool that they, you know, they give you the ability to detach your 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 uh, basically your whole console, and you know, rip rip apart like the controllers, like you saw in the beginning, where you took the controller out with his dog and had to put it all together right to go play more Zelda, and brought the, basically brought the system with him. Now here's my main concern. With the Nintendo Switch, hey, there it is. Uh, with the Nintendo Switch, there are still a lot of questions to be answered about, you know, what what its capabilities are. I know, um, and this is actually, thank you. You know what? I will just because you did something dope. I, I can't really show it right now because the show is running. Um, but because you did go ahead and, and drop some inf- drop some knowledge on us, I'll go ahead and bring your name up because it, it's pretty cool, and I, I dig it for that. Um, we got an info from Bryce, and Bryce mm-hmm. says, "Hey, just to let you guys know the switch will be running on the top lo- top of the line uh, P- Pascal chip from Nvidia. Yeah, uh, on, and the power will li- most likely be above the PS4. The same report from the Wall Street Journal reports that the devs are porting PS4 games to switch with ease. Also, with the docking station when plugged up, it gives the console extra power. And the target is 1080p with 60 pans- frames on the docking port of the console. When the Wii U uh, Wii U was first announced, it received praise and devs working on it. But then a year later, before the release, same devs praising it uh, said it was horrible and didn't want to fuck with it." And so you see here, you got uh, the, and they go on to say the Switch is special. It has Unreal 4, uh, Unreal Engine 4, Bethesda, Epic Games. They talked about it now. They want to do more shit with it. So, you know, we'll see what, what, what it comes to. Uh, but, again, 
because we don't have a lot of info with it. Like, it's, we don't really know. My biggest concern is, and this is something they didn't address at all, and they haven't addressed, period, is when you take it out of that docking console, how long does that battery last? Like, is it going to be, like, what the, what the Wii U remote is? Because that only lasts, like, four hours. So once you're done with that, you're fucked. And it, it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's a mess. Um, we did see that they, how they're going to have the cartridges, which is, like, basically mini SD cards you plug into the top and just going from there. Yeah. Um, and then the other issue is, as you can saw what Bryce just wrote under our uh, under our video, she stated he or she stated um, that it is when it's plugged into the to the console. Obviously, it's plugged into an AC adapter, so it's getting extra power. Um, but when it's not plugged into that, what is is it going to run at sixty frames per second? Is it still going to be ten eighty p? Because there was a moment on here when they showed it, and I just keep in mm. mind I chalked it up to bad editing because I me mean, they it kind of seems like they they did you know kind of just slap yeah. this together. Um, but when he takes it out of the, the port with Zelda, yeah, with Zelda, yeah, that you see those frame rates immediately go up. It, it uh, drops, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm like, I don't know if y'all did that on purpose uh. or like is is that what it's going to look like when I go out and try to walk my dog and I'm playing a, the picture movie of Wind Waker. Yeah. So I don't know what that's going to be. Those are my main concern, Gertz. I don't know what uh, what are any other ones I may have missed or. Uh, you, you hit on my biggest concern, which is the frame rate. Is it going to be a consistent experience when it's uh, taken out of the dock? Mm-hmm. Um, I hope so, because uh, I'd like to chalk that up to either editing or the fact that Zelda's also not finished. Right. Um, because when they showed the other games being played outside of it, mm-hmm. uh, it looked like they were running fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. This is like the first thing Nintendo's done, at least since the Wii. Like I, I got the Wii as a gift, but I remember when the Wii was announced, I was thinking to myself, I will get it eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when they announced the Wii U, I was like, I will not get that. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, I'm definitely going to get this. Um, I think Nintendo's smart in that they're just doing something completely different than Sony and Microsoft. So I feel like they're kind of sticking it to the competition by not competing with them. They're doing something that you will not get from Sony and Microsoft, period. And I think con- uh, consolidating a home console with a portable console is very, very smart. Because they did announce, uh, I think like a few weeks ago, that the next Pokemon game after Sun and Moon, um, the, or after that series, when they start doing a new generation, it will be on this uh, platform. And I think it will only be on this platform. So I think taking something where they were killing it, which was handheld, mm-hmm. and, and finding that appeal and putting it into a home console, I think is very, very smart. I think this thing's going to be huge, actually. Okay, so you, yeah. let me ask you this. I'm optimistic. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. When, okay. this. when this console comes out, and people, I'll, I'll ask you this too. When this console comes out, again, it's March of next year, mm-hmm. um, it's going to have no competition, really. Right. There's, there's not like it's going to basically be what what the Wii U was. It had no competition when it came out. Yeah. To be honest with you, um, do you think this will be the console that kind of digs Nintendo out of its out of its its funk, like out of its home, especially I mean, home console? They, they've, funk. they've nailed handheld. They've they've cornered that market. I don't know why yeah. PlayStation or anybody else tries to compete because you're stupid. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to be. Uh, Game Boy and the DS, 3DS, 3DS mm-hmm. XL, all that shit. Yeah. You're not going to beat that. Nintendo has the the handheld market down packed because they literally make games. Like with, with Sony, you make games where, and, uh, well, I don't say Microsoft, but with Sony, you make games where you they seem like they were designed for the home market and then you just port them over to the console. Yep. I'm sorry, uh, handheld. Yeah. But then with, with Nintendo, you make games that are made for handheld, and they, mm. that's why they play well handheld. That's why people buy 3DSs, and like even with Smash Brothers, that's a game that was people like you can't port that over to 3DS. Then it turns out to be a smash hit. Yeah, yeah, it, it plays just as well on the 3DS as it does on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. So let me ask, like, do you think like this will be the the console that's going to get make Nintendo be the dominant force, like they were with the Wii mm-hmm. uh, of, of that of the next generation? Uh, that's a uh, the Wii is a big. Uh, uh, is a big act to follow because that thing sold so well. It was an anomaly. Yeah, yeah I'll give it that. Uh, yeah, um, and I really liked it too. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it will reach that bar because I think the Wii, it appealed to people that normally don't play video games. Mm-hmm. Um, this it is, I think it's very much made with people who play games in mind, but since it is so different, I think at the very least it's going to be a much bigger success than the Wii U. 
I think it's going to be a much bigger success than that because it looks simple too. Yeah. Like the Wii U, like when I first saw it, you have you're looking at you're playing games that are forcing you to look at two screens simultaneously and there one is not really in your peripheral vision like with the Nintendo DS. When you got those two screens right there, it was like, "Oh, that's fine." Um but this, I think they're taking the one thing about the Wii U that I did hear a lot of people like, which was that you could play you could just play the home consoles in your lap. Um, but they're taking that to the next level. Mm -hmm. So they're even taking some positive features of the Wii U. And I say some, it's really the only one. <laughs> so I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be big. I think it's going to be a success. Um, I'm not saying it's successful as the Wii, you, uh, as the you know, Wii yeah. but do you think it's going to sell more than the PS5 and the Xbox 2, whatever they're going to call it? That's hard to say. Uh, because I we, mean, think about it. When we, we saw the Wii U, we're like, that's definitely not going to sell more. Yeah. So we're like, pass hard on that. Yeah. Think, keep on, people. The Wii, the original Wii sold 100 million something units, and yeah. the Wii U sold 10 million units. Yeah. So a tenth of what the Wii sold. So yeah. we kind of saw there that's, that shit was fun. Uh, but yeah. I, I'd have to see what the PS5 it looks like. One thing, I think, one factor would be online play. Now, I think they did say that this thing will be, will have online play, obviously, but we don't know what the capabilities of that are. Right. So if people, who, if online play is a selling point for people, this might not appeal to them. I will say, I'm gonna get this probably pretty darn quick, and I don't know if that's gonna happen with the PS5 or Xbox. So I think it's definitely gonna give them a run for their money. I think it'll be a competitor at the very least. I don't think it's gonna get blown out of the water like the Wii U did. Okay. It's not gonna bomb. All right, and very, very diplomatic answer. I'll say no. Uh, here's why. <laughs> uh, I don't think, uh, keep in mind, it looks cool, it looks dope. I, I'm very happy. Um, that again, they're they're trying something kind of new. They're learning from their past mistakes, which is something that Nintendo has done relatively well. We haven't seen a Virtual Boy two, or we haven't seen a Wii U two, or we haven't, you know, once they once they or a Power Glove sequel. Like once Nintendo figures out something doesn't work, and then keep in mind this goes to innovation. You're gonna have you have to break a few eggs, uh, like like a baker needs eggs. <laughs> but uh, but but with uh, with the with the Nintendo Switch, um, I feel like. It'll it'll have a lot of the things that people want. Again, the things that kind of pushed people away from the last uh, from the Wii U, which was not having third party support, uh, which was having just a weird a weird game set or, or way to play it, like having to look down and up, especially when it came to things like Star Fox Zero, which oh, just just is the bane of our existence on, at, at, at the high score. Oh. Um, but I feel like it, it it'll do well, and I. I have faith that it will do well, but just with them not coming out with a lot of specifics, there are a lot of questions that still need to be answered before I'm willing to oh, say yeah. it's it's going to be it's going to be um, a success. And, and I think them being hesitant to put out information isn't a good thing. Um, them not them putting out the capabilities or the you know the rumors of the capabilities like what chipset it's going to be using, the power of the chipset, the 1080p, 60 frames per second, yada 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 yada. Yeah. Um, I think that's good, but they avoided the big shit that people want to know, like the battery life. You're making a portable system, or excuse me, yo, I don't know what you would call this. It's it's kind of like its, it's own thing. It's, yeah. yeah, it's like a hybrid. Yeah, we'll call, let's go. Yeah, a hybrid portable system, a hybrid home. Yeah, a uh, homebred. Uh, but <laughs> we'll go with that. And mm -hmm. you're making something, and you know, you show all this cool stuff, and people having fun with it, but you dodge all the specifics like battery life, cost, um, what. You know, who are these third party publishers that are coming back? Like, you know, we showed 2K, which is not that hard to do because 2K still mm -hmm. makes mobile games for, for them and they mm -hmm. make them for everybody else. And you saw they, they showed Skyrim, which has been out for six years. Uh -huh. So, you know, what's what's that that hesitation to put out information mm -hmm. is what scares me. Like when I, we first saw like the PS4, they're like, here it is. This is what it cost shipping on this date. Mm -hmm. And this is what it could do. Xbox One, same thing. Here it is. This is what it could do. Here's the price. Here's DRM. We, you know, you need to have uh, the the connect to play this. Okay, we were lying. All right, we we'll take a DRM away too. Yeah. <laughs> so that I mean, keep in mind, I'm I'm I I don't have a dog in this fight in either way. So like, if Nintendo, I want Nintendo to do well with this. They were the first console I've ever owned. The first handheld I've ever owned. And they they are, you know, when it comes to video games, they are the the Godfather of video games. So. 
I want them to do well, but just them avoiding certain specifics, especially with the release date only five months away, mm -hmm. that, that makes me hesitate. I thought they released a list of some third-party developers they were working with, well, in, in addition said, to the ones they showed here. Well, yeah, they said, like, Bethesda, 2K, mm -hmm. um, uh, Epic. Oh, uh, yeah. And people like that. But, like, that's still... That's, that's pretty small. Of, yeah. of all the developers in the world, that's mm -hmm. not a lot of people. Here mm -hmm. is the full list for your ass. Thank you, Bryce. From Software, EA, Sega, mm -hmm. uh, Epic, Havoc, uh, Maximum Games, Capcom, Bethesda. Mm -hmm. There are a few people here that I'm that are missing, uh, which is why well, I guess they're under Take Two. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. So hey, it seems like they got they got a, a, a pretty decent sized list. So you know what? I'll take that back. Uh, all right, you got you got the partners there. I still need to know what your battery life is, <laughs> and how much the system costs, and what it looks like when you take it outside of the goddamn power rack. But outside of that, I'm, I'm, thank you, thank you, Bryce. I was proved wrong, and I'll I'll edit this into the YouTube video and be like, "Hey, I was wrong. I'll admit it. <laughs> Fuck you." <laughs> the innocent, the arrogant, and the brave. Okay, the so brave. We the war the was to be our so right. Gotta, uh, yeah, beat this first grand part here. adventure. Yeah, he was talking, guys. That was rude to interrupt him, man. I don't give a damn what he's got to say. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I got, I'm got. i going to tell you about my story. You're like, fuck your story. No. Fuck World War I. <laughs> okay, I apologize, sir. <laughs> See? That's the word the Captain Planet is fighting against right there. <laughs> All that smoke. Where Captain Planet at when you need him? Uh, he's in World War II fighting Hitler like we saw in that clip. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Lord. oh, oh. That's a, a dope-ass hat. Bombing turkey. Sorry, Mia. Hey. Why are you bombing me, baby? Oh, shit. Turn to the combat here. Why are you blow up my house, baby? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh. Jeez. Where, where are they? <laughs> I don't know, but you catching yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Jesus. Ooh, Ooh. the hot one. <laughs> Get out of my line of fire, dumbass. <laughs> Try to find out. The cannon. Ooh. It's an RPG. Looks like it. Holy I'm shit! Let's try to switch back music. Like it. Come on, girls, we believe in you. Oh shit! Ooh! I just need to quit running in front of my line. Don't you have an RPG? Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck, man? I'm in cover. Your head was a little above the know. So they shot you in the head. You know, kind of happens in real life. If you get shot in the head. Shot in the head. Shot in the head. Going to die. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, go control this shit. Yeah, man, this is pissing me off. <laughs> that would have been helpful to know. <laughs> I also could have went up here and attacked him from above. Whoop. Wow, yeah. that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shot in my chest! <laughs> oh my god, he's nice. shot <laughs> Oh! Oh, run! Ah! Oh. Mm. Yep, mm. there it is. <laughs> it's frustrating. Uh, yes, it I'm is. I'm not mad at it, though. This is still a good game. Mm. The hate. Let it, let it flow through, you guys. Mm. I fucking hate <laughs> Battlefield! Uh, yeah, man. Like my Star Wars. <laughs> They got me cornered. Fuck! 
Do you have any grenades? I do, but I don't want to just lob shit and not have it hit anything. <laughs> oh lord! Did you do the, the twist. Way. Oh, is that a brother? My bad, man. <laughs> oh. So he's going to kill the other man, not the brother, man. Did you try to get on the minigun, boy? Stop. Oh, fuck. Oh. No! <laughs> You're almost dead. Get a cover. No! Oh. Oh. Fuck this story mission. I'm changing the story. <laughs> I'm going to be Lawrence of Arabia. Quit. Yeah, quit. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, man, the chat is saying. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> Look, son, a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> Oh, sand. Tatooine. Desert. <sighs> Cry oh, he sees you. Kia, bitch! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Get on that horse. Well, at least now you got a gun. Damn! Damn that's going over with the horse. Fuck it! <laughs> Reload your gun. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. Uh -huh. Ooh. <laughs> my legs. My legs are like linguini. <laughs> I really want to know you. Yeah. Can I talk to you? Ooh, yeah. Damn. The tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Go get on this. Shot off artillery right at me. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, I chew animal. Zara. Oh, I thought she slit his throat. I was like, yeah, how is he not bleeding yeah, out? Yeah, <laughs> I thought he, she did too. He's like, ow! Like, wait, hey what? everyone, we hope you liked the show. If you did, give us a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe to Double Toasted on YouTube. You can also find us on Twitch.tv, the high score DT, all one word. Mr. Goodwin? Or you can go over to DoubleToasted.com and check out our full videos there, or also go over to SoundCloud, link in the description, or you can just sit here and watch us all day, because we're going to stare for like the next three minutes. Ready, go. You should have paused it earlier, that would have been three minutes. You messed this up. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> People, I understand if you are a Nintendo groupie like this chick with the berries and cream haircut. Um, <laughs> she, she, like, you can go out and have fun, play your Mario, go out and take it to your f friend's rooftop party. Yeah, you I can... don't know why you would do that. And I don't know how she knew it was going on. <laughs> Is she just spying on him? Yeah. It's like, it's like rear window. Yeah. <laughs> I see you guys. I'm calling the police. Well, come over. If you don't call the police, you can come hang out with us. I want to play my game, though. Here, take this. <laughs> We're having fun, right? And people are behind her like, this bitch is crazy. <laughs>